So uh, we have seen a state of stress at, uh, at a point and we have seen that we need nine components. There are nine components in a stress tensor and out of which six components are independent. So now we'll look at a special case of stress state that is a 2D stress state and sometimes it is called as plane stress also. So this kind of conditions arises uh, in thin plates okay so uh, let me show a thin plate and mark my coordinate axis x y and z so this state stress state arises in a components which has uh, one dimension is much smaller as compared to other direction in this case the z direction or the thickness direction is much smaller as compared to x uh, uh, the dimensions along x and y so let me mark the stress components uh, acting on this kind of plate. Uh, so I have two normal stress components, sigma xx and sigma yy. This, so sigma xx means uh, the stress, normal stress acting along, acting on x plane along x direction. And similarly, sigma yy means the stress normal to y plane along y direction. Tau xy is a shear stress acting on plane x uh, along y direction. So tau yx is a stress acting in plane on plane y plane along x direction. So we have and there is no stress perpendicular to the z direction. So sigma zz equal to zero. Uh, so what are the stresses present? You have two normal stresses and two shear stresses. Whereas uh, the stresses absent uh, or zero are the stresses which are along, uh, along z uh, direction or z plane. Okay. So now let's understand, let's take an element from this plate and see the stress, stress state uh, in this element. Okay, I mark my uh, coordinate axis x, y and I would like to find out state of stress at point O. Okay, so let's mark uh, what are the stresses acting. So if I'm seeing this uh, uh, stress state and I would like to mark it here. So I have sigma xx which is acting on x plane along x direction. So what is x plane? x plane will be this plane which is perpendicular to the x direction. So I have sigma xx uh, in this direction and I have sigma yy uh, uh, acting on y plane. Okay. So I have marked over here. Then I mark uh, my uh, shear stresses as tau yx and tau xy. So this is uh, acting on y plane along x direction and this is acting on x plane along y direction. Now these are the stresses uh, which we have found. Okay. So now uh, I am interested to find out what is the state of stress uh, which is uh, on this plane which is inclined to this x and y. So let's let's call this plane as PQ. Okay. And I mark the coordinate axis uh, for this PQ plane as x dash and y dash. So I'm interested to find out what is the stress state uh, on uh, in when I change the coordinate axis. Uh, from x y to x dash x prime y prime okay so let the angle between them be theta and let the area of this plane pq be a so what is what is the problem statement here is that i have i have this uh, i have these uh, stresses which i know acting on this plane uh, but that is corresponding to my coordinate axis x and y. Okay. Now I try to change this coordinate axis to to somewhere something else. Uh, let's say which is which has which makes an angle origin angle with this my original coordinate axis x x and y. And what what we have to find out is uh, what are the stress components in this coordinate axis sigma x dash sigma y dash y dash tau x dash y dash tau y dash x dash okay so how are you going to do that okay so there is a, there are steps which would i would like to mention so i have sigma xx okay this four components sigma yy tau xy and tau yx okay 
So I convert them into stress along, sorry, force along Fx and force along Fy. I know the area, okay, initial uh, area, and then I can convert it into Fx and Fy. Now I know that the, the summation of forces must be zero. So I can find out uh, what is F dash X or F X dash and F Y dash. Okay, so I can find out this and uh, after finding out this, I can again change this F dash, uh, F X dash, F Y dash to stresses. Okay, by dividing it with area. Okay. So here I multiply with area and here I divide it with area to get f x dash x dash and these four components which we have which we are interested in. So let's do that. So uh, what will be the area of plane OP? So OP is this plane which is perpendicular to y direction that is it is a y plane. So m into a m is nothing but your cosine uh, cos theta m uh, cosine of this so it will be m into a so uh, it has this pq is a so this uh, op will be m into a i have mentioned this cosine here okay m is equal to cos theta l is equal to sine uh, sine theta that is cos 90 minus theta okay so basically uh, this will be 90 minus theta okay and this will be theta okay so now what is the area of plane oq which is x plane the OQ is an X plane is L into A. Okay. So I know the area of these two planes. Now I need to find out what is a force. Okay. I need to multiply with an area sigma xx. So I find I say that my fx is in x along x direction and fy is in along y direction. So for body to be in equilibrium, I have fx is equal to sigma xx. So sigma xx is a stress acting along uh, x direction. So sigma xx into LA, which this is area of this plane OQ. Okay, it is acting on plane OQ. So sigma xx into LA and tau yx, which is a, a shear stress acting along x direction so, and multiplied by the area. It is acting on plane OP. Okay, so the area of plane OP is m into a. So I have I got the force component along x uh, direction as sigma xx la plus tau yx ma similarly for fy uh, or the force component along y direction okay along this direction so i can write it as uh, sigma yy okay so these are sigma yy which is in this direction which is acting on plane op so area of a uh, plane op is ma and tau xy which is acting on plane oq so tau xy into la so i got uh, the force components along x direction and y direction now i define this x dash and y dash so i have to find out what is uh, f f dash x and f dash y okay so uh, for this inclined uh, coordinate axis okay so i find out f f dash x as fx so this is a force component and i can mark angles also so this will be theta okay f uh, the uh, component of fx along f dash x is equal to fx cos theta similarly component of y uh, along uh, along x this this will be so i can write this 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 is as uh, 90 minus theta so that becomes uh, sine theta so component of y along f dash x uh, f y along f dash x will be f y sine theta now i got the uh, f dash x now i can find out what is the stress 
along this x dash or x prime what i can say so so i can say that sigma x dash x dash will be f x dash upon a so what that that is an area of this plane op because it is acting on plane op so x dash is perpendicular to op so this will be a normal stress okay so if it, it will be f uh, dash x upon a so i know the value of f dash x as fx cos theta plus f by sin theta upon a now we will see it further uh, so what was fx so fx was sigma xx into la plus tau yx into ma into cos theta and uh, what was fy uh, will be sigma yy ma plus tau xy into la so uh, now i multiply this this l is i i take out a common everywhere and uh, so a will get cancelled out from numerator and denominator and i will be left with this term and now I multiply with this cos theta. So L is cos theta m is equal to sin theta. And when I multiply this, you can get this term as sigma xx cos square theta, sigma yy sin square theta plus tau yx sin theta cos theta. Okay. Uh, and you use this identity which we have proved earlier that tau yx is equal to tau xy. So you get sigma uh, x dash x dash. Okay. So you can write this uh, in this fashion also where you change this to sin theta cos theta is equal to sin 2 theta. So similarly we can show that uh, what is a stress, normal stress uh, in along y, acting on y, y dash uh, plane along y dash direction uh, that is in the ro rotated coordinate axis that sigma xx sin square theta plus sigma y y cos square theta minus tau y x sin to theta. So what we have found that uh, the normal stresses in the uh, coordinate axis which is oriented with the original coordinate, uh, original reference axis. Okay, so we use this identity, okay, in this and we write this sigma x dash x dash as uh, sigma xx plus sigma yy upon 2 plus sigma xx minus sigma yy upon 2 cos theta plus tau xy sin theta. Similarly, sigma y dash y dash you can write as sigma xx plus sigma yy upon 2 minus sigma xx minus sigma yy upon 2 cos theta minus tau xy sin theta sin to theta. You, you should do this uh, on a paper and try to see yourself uh, to get these results. Now we have found out what are, what are the normal components of stress in an inclined uh, uh, plane. So now our aim is to find out what is the shear stress. Okay, so we have we have figure over here, and now we have to find out what is the shear stress uh, acting on this plane. That is y dash uh, x dash y dash uh, coordinate axis. So the total force parallel to y dash. So we we have considered uh, we have considered that this is a plane or PQ, and we are we are we have to find out what are the uh, components of stresses on acting on this plane PQ. Okay. So uh, shear component will be act, acting along y dash direction. Okay. This is a y dash direction. So, so you have to find out what are the forces parallel to y dash. Okay, let's do that. So you have tau x dash y dash is equal to f y dash. Okay, upon a. Now, what will be the f y dash in terms of f x and f y? So this will be, let's say, this is a theta. Uh, this is theta. So this is 90 minus theta. The component of fx along y uh, dash will be uh, f minus fx sine theta. And similarly, uh, component of, so fx component along y dash will be fx minus fx sine theta and fy will be fy cos theta. Okay, now you know that fx and fy have these values which we have shown in our first slide. 
so you can write uh, tau x dash y dash equal to uh, plug in these values here and try to solve it and then you will end up the identity in this fashion so you have tau x dash y dash is equal to sigma y y minus sigma x x upon 2 sine 2 theta plus tau y x cos 2 theta so uh, what we have done here is that so let's let's revise this what we have done uh, here so we have we know that what were the stresses acting in this coordinate axis we were be knowing so we know these two normal stresses and uh, two shear stresses okay so we will be know we were aware of these components now let's say i have changed my mind and i put coordinate axis as x dash y dash now what are the components in this coordinate axis this is what we our exercise was in this uh, so we wanted to find out this okay how to do that so what we have done that we had this coordinate axis okay uh, y and x so we converted we knew the stress components sigma and tau we converted them to force components along fx and fy okay so we were aware of the areas so we multiply this with area now the forces remains the same as to maintain equilibrium so f dash x dash so what we wanted to find out what we did that we found the components along this x dash y dash as uh, fx dash fy dash okay now we also know area here and we, when we divide these components by area we will get uh, sigma x dash x dash sigma y dash y dash and tau y dash x dash that is what uh, we have done in this last few minutes so i will stop it here and we'll see some uh, some other implications of plane stress condition in uh, further lectures